Long-term care is expensive, but if you tailor the benefits to your needs, you could save a lot in premiums. Because every year that you wait, it only gets more expensive. In fact, we are all getting older by the minute. Hi everyone, Keith Wilson here, founder of Wilson Financial Advisors. Now you may have heard that as you age, the chances of needing some form of long-term care increases. According to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, the chance of needing some form of long-term care for someone turning 65 today, hey, it's 70%. That's why there's long-term care insurance out there to help protect your assets against the loss of needing long-term care. But it can be very expensive. Now, the cost of long-term care insurance will vary based on your age, your health, and benefits. So, since you can't change your age or your current health, let's look at the benefits of a long-term care policy that would influence the premiums. There are several options to select when choosing your coverage, but today I want to concentrate on what is called the monthly benefit that a long-term care policy offers. The monthly benefit is how much the policy would pay, for example, in a nursing home, assisted living, or home health care. Obviously, the higher the monthly benefit you select, the higher the premium will be. So in order to determine how much benefit you would want to select, hey, might be a good idea to find out the average cost in your area because those costs vary widely depending on where you live. So according to Genworth Cost of Care, for example, right here in Greensboro, North Carolina, the average 2018 monthly cost for different types of care are for home health care. Average monthly cost, $3,432 assisted living facility care, 4883 and nursing home care, semi-private room, 7893 a month. Now, did you notice the big difference between the monthly cost of nursing home care and home health care? I stated earlier that there's a 70% chance of needing some form of long-term care for someone turning 65 today, but also according to U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, of those that need care, 76% are receiving home care or assisted living facility, while only 24% are receiving nursing home care. So, it may make sense to select a lower monthly benefit that is more in line with the average cost of home care or assisted living. For example, in this situation, you might want to select $4,500 a month versus $7,800 a month. Now, of course, there could be a chance that you're going to receive nursing home care. And yes, you'd have to pay out of pocket the difference, but that's where I come in. I would take a look at your financial situation, come up with strategies for that event. Obviously, there are a lot more variables that we need to look at and discuss so I invite you to give me a call and we can look at your unique needs and circumstances. Mm -hmm.